Hi everyone, welcome to the session where I'll show you how to save, load and share the trained machine learning models. Uh, we can achieve this by using the pickle method and the, or the job leave method and also it is very important to save our, our model with the sklearn version so that when you are sharing this with your friend or when you are sharing in the workflow, you can verify and you can execute it properly. Before starting, please note my um, gmail account and my github account as well as my twitter id account is as follows so let's start what i will do is i have a we will import the data set from sklearn we will import the iris data set where we will have the like we will import these three libraries uh, decision tree classifier data set and the job lib and after that what i will do i will load the data and get the features and the target once i'll do this i'll just verify my what is my feature so i have four columns in my data set which is sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width of a flower For based on this what i will do i will do the prediction of whether it belongs to uh, setosa virginica or one other form for three different flowers which will be setosa virginica and vosicola so it will be uh, like 0 1 2 we will also we have this three categories right so if you want to uh, if you do if you if there are around 10000 records so if you want to get the uh, unique categories just execute this and we have this uh, three unique categories zeros one and two now what i will do in this case i will simply create a decision tree classifier and after that i will uh, create a i will train the model with my features and the target my feature is x and my target is y okay we have created a model and what i will do i will predict the value suppose if you see here okay this is my this is my my input will have four columns okay sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width so what i will do here is i will pass the value okay some small values i will pass and i will see what is my output which values which class will be predicted because there will be only three class can be predicted 0 1 and Two. so it is predicting class 2 so now what i will do till here we know i like how to uh, train a model how to uh, how to create the object of a class how to train the model how to predict but what i am going to do is the most important thing how to uh, save my model with the pickle method and how to save again with the job list. we will import pickle and then after that with open i'll say we will write this binary file and we will dump it into our folder so what this will do it will import in a pickle and whatever uh, like a model we have okay the model which we have created it will dump into my folder as model underscore pickle so we'll execute this okay so now what we'll do we will uh, write this model underscore pickle in our directory and this pickle will dump will create it okay it will write it as so this is the model which we, whatever we have created we are passing in pickle underscore dump. Now if we go to our directory where we are saving, you can see model underscore pickle. Okay. So model underscore pickle. So if you open this, suppose we say we'll open with notepad. Okay. It's totally in something uh, encoded in. Uh, so we are not bothered about that. We are simply bothered how to save it and use it again. Okay. So what I will do now, I will close this jupiter jupiter session i'll close this okay even i will close this jupiter session so now whatever train i have trained my model it was whatever was present in the memory it is gone i will again start jupiter okay so my jupiter session has started and this is my program it is in uh, desktop python is my folder and here if you see this is my train save load model okay now if you see i am not loading anything okay this is whatever I have trained, let it be like this. Now what I will do after this saving the model, what I will do, we will recall that same model, okay? I will recall the same model with open model underscore pickle. Now we'll read, read the binary file, okay? As if, and then I simply say, create my model again. Model is equals to pickle dot load. And then I'll pass this F, aware, whatever I am reading into this. I am, and before this, I will simply import pickle otherwise you will not be able to read it okay now i'll execute this okay this is executed after this i will create one more cell where i'll wherein i'll predict the model okay so model dot predict you remember i have we have predicted this as array 2 right of the second category so if uh, i have uh, not trained my model whatever training was done it was done in the previous session after that i have simply opened my model and i'm trying to predict it i am just uh, loading my uh, current model with the existing one and then i'm trying to predict and see array 2 is predicted 
now this is done now let's start with how to do it using the job lib so in this case so in case of job lib we have to we will again start from the beginning okay so we will create a trainer model we will again load this and uh, we will uh, create a decision tree classifier we will also train the model till here it will again it will do the same thing predict array class 2 is predicted now we have a model model right now what we will do we will create we will say in case of the second method when we use the job lib in that case what we will do we will say we will now also we will dump okay and that time i, I have used this uh, the file method but now i will directly use the job lib method so i'll say the job lib dot dump and then i will pass model comma i'll say model underscore job lib dot pkl the moment i do this so this file will be created in my directory you can see right model so model underscore job lib dot pkl is created so you can see model underscore dot, uh, dot job lib is uh, model underscore job lib dot pkl is created okay now you can again close this session and again start it and when you try uh, loading it like when you try to predict it okay so in that case we'll say classifier fire is equals to job lib dot load and what is the name of my from where it it will load it will load from this one and this is my classifier is created and we want to create a new observation instead of creating a new observation or we can say that new underscore ob obs is equals to we have whatever is the observation 2 3 4 5 will pass here and then we will do the prediction classifier dot predict and then we will pass here new underscore observation and if you execute this first we will execute this and after this we will execute this so now also it has predicted the uh, like 2 3 4 5 belongs to the category of second class not the zeroth class or not the first class now so what till now i have shown you how to train the model how to load it how to save it and uh, basically what is what what it will happen the moment we save and we shut down or we are not using it our model will be stored in some directory and when we are want to use it again or we want to share it with our friend when they are using it will again load to the memory from memory it will be again utilized okay how it will execute so now there but when we share it with our friend or we are using in a certain workflow or in the web portal what we are creating in our system or in our work a workstation and what they are using in both the places the version of scikit-learn will not be the same so that's where compatibility issue may arise so how to overcome that is very simple we can say that import sklearn followed by will scikit version is equals to so what we'll say we'll uh, get the version in this uh, sklearn dot version will be stored in scikit one and now here here will print the version if we execute this the version is version of scikit-learn is 0.23.4 okay. after this when you dump it okay using joblib or using that uh, pickle method okay you can simply say uh, joblib dot dump and then you can pass your uh, here our model is classifier and we can say classifier after that we can save it uh, say it as model underscore and then you pass the version here and we save it as pkl file okay and then you save the dot format inside dot format you have to pass the version so this model underscore 0.23 dot pkl will be saved in my directory okay so you can see this is saved here. so this is where i have shown you how, uh, how to uh, the, how to save the model load the model share the model and also uh, like by using the pkl and the job lib method and also how to smartly save our uh, our model with a certain naming convention and with the version so that we may not face any issue so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and this is my uh, new very new twitter account i don't have any subscriber or any tweet now this is a very new account so please uh, retweet my uh, post and i will see you in my next video thank you